I'm emptying out a storage unit and I had some boxes. Uh, I forgot I still had some books in boxes. And so I was going through them and I have a lot of Beatles books. Uh, you know, big Beatles fan. You're going to, you're going to read about them, right? John Lennon had written a couple of books back in the day. One was In His Own Right and the other one was A Spaniard in the Works. And uh, this book, I was heavily influenced by this book in high school. One story I really enjoyed, uh, for whatever reason, and I will read it to you because it's very short, uh, is The Fat Growth on Eric Herbel. And this one was in his own right, was the, the book it was in. If you want to buy it and read along, you certainly can. It's, this is a compilation of both books. But. One fat morning, Eric Herbel wake up with an abnormal fat growth, a bombly on his head. Oh, crumb said Eric Herbel, who was a very, very surprised. Anyway, he carried on as Norman, for why should he worried? All of the sudden, he heard a small little voice calling him by name. Eric! Eric Herbel! It seemed to say, as though he couldn't say for sure. That night, the very same voice spoke, saying, Eric! I'm a growth on your very head. Help me, Eric! Soon, Eric became very attached to his fat growth friend. Call me Scab, the voice said, and he was. Call me Eric! Eric said naturally as he could. From then on, you never saw Eric without the big fat growth upon his head. And that's why Eric Kerbel lost his job teaching spastics to dance. We're not having a cripple teaching our lads, said Headmaster. I, I don't know why I really liked that story, but I did. In fact, um, I used to go around saying, call me scab. I, I don't. Yeah, you know, you're in high school. You you do weird things. Well, yeah. So uh, I I just enjoyed saying that. And, and, of course, I would read this to my friends in, in different voices because, you know, that's what I did. And um, at the time, I think uh, Scab had a, a rather high-pitched voice, uh, which, yeah, I won't, I won't do. But... Uh, and I used, my friends, we used to laugh, I, you know, call me scab. And my junior year, junior year in high school, we got a new art teacher. And um, so, of course, the beginning of the year, the teacher always asks, you know, what's your name? Do you have any nicknames that you would rather go by? And I said, call me scab. And, and she did. She did call me scab. And, and uh, yeah. Back in those days, I uh, actually went by my last name all the time by everyone um, because in elementary school, um, I went to a slumber party. The slumber party that I went to, or the sleepover, whatever they call them now, uh, was at a friend of mine's house, obviously, and uh, she had a sister who was also the same age as my older sister, and I guess she came home or something. Uh, that evening while we were there and she saw me and said, oh my gosh, you know, you just, you look like your sister. Um, you look like a, 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 a little Loki. And so my friends started calling me little Loki. Uh, and it just, it just stuck. I, I was, li I was little Loki until really like ninth grade. And I think that was maybe fifth through ninth grade, I was little Loki to everyone. And then finally it just became Loki. Back to the, the art teacher, uh, you know, she called me scab, but every time she called me scab, we all snickered. So she knew something was up. And uh, finally she's like, you know, what's up with that? And I, I told her the story and, and she had heard everybody else calling me Loki. So she called me Loki as well. And, and uh, yeah, it was, it was all good. But yeah, I think it was probably three quarters of the year. She called me scab. And, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things, that, you know, you just, you don't think about and forever. And so then I saw this book and it made me think of that. So, yeah.